Welcome into Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. I am Tom Downey. A little bit late getting to today's video. I apologize for that. I'll blame the sick nine-month little home from that perspective. A lot of moves going on here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Six different roster moves. 12 players now added to the practice squad. We'll break all of that down for you. But first, we have the final numbers of the August like, ra like race here at Chat Sports. We blew out the Browns. Suck it, Petey. Type in FPD in the comment section. We did lose to our Eagles channel. Now, we're punching above our weight class going against Philadelphia. They got more subscribers, but you guys care more. Let's get off to a great start this month by liking today's video right now. All right, a lot of moves to break down, beginning with the return of Jameer Jones. Yes, in a very... Uh, Time is a flat circle moment. Jameer Jones, back as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, claimed off of waivers today by the Jags. Pittsburgh won that claim. This is your new outside linebacker depth chart. Very different than what Pittsburgh began this offseason with. T.J. Watt, Alex Highsmith, they traded for Malik Reed. Now Jones comes in. And you will notice the lack of Derek Tuska, who, ironically... When the Steelers got Tuska last year, they let go of Jones. Now they let go of Tuska to bring back Jones. It's kind of crazy how that all works out there. I think there's a very good chance he ends up on the practice squad, assuming he does endear clear, clear waivers. There are still some more spots, as we'll get into. All right, also returning, Marcus Allen. He had been released by the team on initial 53-man roster cuts. He is now back, along with offensive lineman Trent Scott. Both players, I think at least for Scott, had been part of the vested veterans. If I got to double check that, either way, they weren't added by any other teams. Now they're back on the Steelers' 53-man roster as Pittsburgh now carrying nine offensive linemen, which I think does make a little bit more sense from just a pure numbers perspective. Now we mentioned how Tuska got cut for Jones to make room for the returns of Allen and Scott. Two players were put on IR. Here's the most notable of that group. Calvin Austin has been put on IR. If you've been subscribed, if you've listened to our previous shows, I kind of mentioned, hey, you know, maybe there's a possibility Pittsburgh puts Austin on IR. He's dealing with a Liz Frank injury, allegedly. Uh, had a walking boot for a little bit. With this move, he's going to miss at least the first four games of the season by waiting until after Roscrutz to put him on IR. They can bring him back later on uh, in the season. So it is six healthy receivers now on the roster, kind of carrying seven, kind of not, so we'll say we were all right in the end. As expected, DeMonte Casey goes on IR. The timing again gives him a chance to return from injured reserve later on in the year, but both players will not be part of the initial 53-man roster, or at least the week one 53-man healthy roster. So grade all of these Steelers moves for me, A, B, C, D, or F, we're going to break down the practice squad, but I want to hear from you first and foremost at the pinned comment. If an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. All right, the Steelers made a couple moves on Wednesday. We didn't do a practice squad video hoping for more. We do have a lot more of the moves. We're going to run down the 12 that we know of. I wonder if Tusco will be number 13, but that's me getting ahead of myself a little bit. First up, another kind of sort of reunion. Mark Gilbert is back with the organization. He was on the Lions' active roster last year, didn't make the team this year. He's now back with Pittsburgh on the practice squad. I like this move a lot. I like Gilbert. It is Dale Rivas' cousin, which gets overblown. Whatever, who cares? He's a decent football player, though. I love adding him to the practice squad. So do you like getting Mark Gilbert back? Why for yes and for no? Let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Anthony McFarlane, one of those final roster cuts made by Pittsburgh when they were three guys away. McFarlane, one of the final ones, didn't do much at all last year, does offer practice squad value. I will make note, by the way, remember the practice squad rules. 16 players in total, up to six Unlimited veterans, guys who have been in the league for more than two-plus years. How they define it, veterans for practice squad style. Also, three game day call-ups for each player over the course of the year. Maybe McFarlane could be one of those guys for you. Cody White, the wide receiver, he makes it as the lone for now. Practice squad wide receiver. I'll make note that he's probably not going to do much for you this year, but nice to continue to develop him. Justin Rigg, the former Bengal, is now a member of the Steelers practice squad. Kevin Rader went elsewhere. Steelers steal Rigg from the Bengals, kind of, sort of. Today's show is made possible 
by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code Steelers125. When you put down at least 100 bucks, they're going to give you an extra 125 for free to bet with. It is the best sports betting deal out there. Head over, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Steelers125. Vegas does not believe in Pittsburgh this year. So if you want to find a way to win a little bit more money and bet on the Steelers, BetUS is the perfect place to do it. Seven-point underdogs against the Bengals. I think cover. I think a letdown year for the Bengals is very possible. If you want to follow my bets or fade me, do it with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Steelers125. All right, more notable players. Rennell Wren, the former, I believe it was fourth-round pick, uh, out of Arizona standing, maybe a better scheme fit for Pittsburgh. I like this one a lot. And one half of the Davis twins also added to the Steelers practice squad. It's not Khalil, it is Carlos who got the nod, at least for now over him. Remember, there are some more spots available on the practice squad if needed. There are four unopened spots. Maybe Khalil Davis joins him, but two interior linemen is about all most teams tend to carry. Now, we have non-stop Steelers videos for you. And our channel's blowing up right now. Took us a while to get to 16K. We're almost to 17K again. It's going to be like a week or two we get to that number. So, or a week or two time to get to that number. If you want more free Steelers videos, please hit that big red button and subscribe right now. Edge rusher Hamilton Rashid Jr., who I liked a bit coming out of Oregon State, had a, an awesome junior campaign, I believe it was his junior year, for uh, Oregon State, then regressed his senior year, has never quite latched on, but he's a good scheme fit, I believe, for this team. Elijah Riley, who played a lot last year, good production in 2021, claimed off of waivers. I like having a bit of an of a experienced veteran there on the roster for Pittsburgh. So, too, is Chappelle Russell. I'm not going to make any Dave jokes here, but you can make them. Off-ball linebacker, 18 tackles last year. Steelers going outside the org to sign several of their, uh, uh, at least outside of the org relative where they were in the draft. They were kind of some waiver claims in there, but not afraid to go outside the org to add some practice squad pieces. Got a few more names left, three to be exact. But so far, who is your favorite player on the practice squad? I like the Mark Gilbert and Rennell Wren pickups the most, but I want to hear from you in the comment section. All right, next up, William Dunkel, a UDFA. They added kind of, again, late in the preseason process. They're going to try to continue to grow him. John Legue, who uh, or Glue, I like this pickup. Uh, played a little bit last year. He spends time on the organization. I like going heavy on offensive line practice squad depth. Leglue, I thought, played pretty well overall in the preseason. Ryan McCullum got a start last year for the, I believe it was the Lions, but he's not that good. Practice squad-wise, though, I love it. Dunkel and McCollum were all added during the preseason for the Steelers. They get some more growth chances here uh, for Pittsburgh right now. I wonder if Adrian Ely could get added since he was late pickup, but we'll wait and see on that front. All right, the practice squad. Recap one time for you. 12 names so far. Mark Gilbert, Anthony McFarland, Cody White, Justin Rigg, Rennell Wren, Carlos Davis, Davis, excuse me, Hamill Cut Rashid Jr., Elijah Riley, Chappelle Russell, William Day Dunkel, John LeGlue, and Ryan McCullum. So you get 16 players. So four spots remain open for Pittsburgh. I assume that will be filled at some point in the near future, probably outside organizational players because you want to do a physical, medical checks, all that stuff before you officially sign them. And I would wager that Derek Tuska is going to be one of those spots as well. So with Four, maybe three if Tuska's included there. Who else do you want to add to the practice squad? Let me know in the comments section right now. One note, by the way, who you can't add, Chris Olodokun has signed with the Chiefs practice squad, which I find fascinating that you drafted this kid and you let him leave Pittsburgh's practice squad. That's a bit unusual and maybe is a sign that they really shouldn't have drafted him, but... It's not the end of the world in the end. If you have not already, please subscribe for more free Steelers videos. In the meantime, we got some more coming up for you to watch here, and I'm going to go watch the backyard, backyard brawl myself. Go Pitt.